Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to House Flipper. We have got our garage with a bunker that we're busy working on today. And you know what we haven't actually done yet? We haven't gone in through here. I wanted to have a look at this. Uh, oh, I see. It just opens straight up like that. I, I did wonder how this would work. So we go here and we go use. And then just jump down. And then we can close that one behind us. So we come down into here and open up into this bit. So we've got our bathroom that we worked on last time. We've got a few bits and pieces in here. I'll put some shelving up in there and i put another water butt in there. We've got our toilet and it's all looking good. And the dude on the left hand side with that mask on really didn't like the idea of having anything resembling... Well, he, he, he felt that it was a little bit uh, frivolous, really, and he didn't like frivolity, so he decided that he, he was not going to want to buy this place. We've got some spare boots down here. We've got a few bits of spare food here. Uh, plenty of water bowsers there. And then we were stocking our shelves. Now, we've got rice down there and some macaroni. We've got um, some jars of nuts and pickles and soup. And we was working on some of, these re some of the rest of these. So this is what I'd like to do a little bit more of today. Um, okay, well, actually, I'm going to put these cans down here. That's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to go through and I'm going to start putting tins in here. We're going to get these green tins here. I don't know what these tins are, actually. We'll have a look at those. Oh, meatballs. Cans of meatballs. So we want to put some meatballs in there. We definitely want plenty of meatballs if you're going to be stuck in a, um, in a natural disaster or a man-made, any kind of disaster. Meatballs is not going to hurt, so we'll put some of those in there. Uh, there's another tin there. I think there's one more tin to get after this. Oop, steady. Put that one in there. And there's one over there. Is there any more? Oh, no, there's another tin over there. Loads of meatballs in here. Put that one in. And then another one over there. And we will buy a little bit more of this as well. We're going to buy um, just, a, just a few more tins. I want to be able to fill the shelves out. Um, let's get the stuff that we've got here first on the shelves. Um... What's this? I don't even know what this one is. That one can go up there. Put that one back there. And then I get some more of these. So I've got... Uh, there's four of these at the moment, I think. That one on there. And then... Can you see what that yellow one is? Because I can't see what it is. We'll have a look in a minute. We'll see. We'll be able to go in the shop and then it'll tell us exactly what it is that we're picking up. And there's one to go there. Just like that. And what have we got now? This is tomato. It's tinned tomatoes. I'm, I'm. Oh, it's tomato soup. We've got more soup here. We've got tins of soup as well as the jars of soup over there. And this one here. This is not the same. No, that's that's chickpeas. Okay, chickpeas. Uh, we'll put those on that shelf under there. And then I got to get the right one. That's the tomato soup. That one is. So we can put some more of that one in there. And then that is a tin of chickpeas there. So that will go under there. Get it to fit. There we go. That one in there. And then this is another tin of chickpeas. Put that one... Bring it back a little bit. There. You can do it in like that. And then there's a tin of... Oh, there's more chickpeas, that one is. So I'm going to bring that one... I kind of want to put it all the way back there like that if I can. We have here... This looks like a jar of peanut butter. So the jar of peanut... The problem is I want something to stand... Really, I'm going to need something there to stand on. So we'll, we'll get... What can I use to stand on right there? So it just lifts me up a little bit. Uh, that first aid box. Let's take you a minute. Put you down there. Then I can stand on that one and I can be able, I'll be able to reach that top shelf. That's, that's thinking outside the box, that is. That's using our heads. So we want to put that one up there. So we got some... I think that's peanut butter. It looks like a tin of peanut butter. A jar of peanut butter. We bring this one in here, and that's the tomato soup, so that one will go on that shelf there. And then this back here is... I don't actually know what that is. Not quite sure. I think we're going to put it up here. Whatever whatever this is, we've got up here, I could put it up onto the top shelf. Uh, not enough room to place this. It will be. I can't, yeah, you, you, I've, I've literally, I've got to jump in order to be able to get it up onto, oh, there we go. Ah, that's more like it, there, we put that one up on the top. I don't know, I don't even know what that is up there. And then this looks like tins of tuna. So we'll take the tins of tuna and we'll put them on that bit of the shelf. So we've cleared up all of this room here. We've got a, a really good pantry going on here. 
We're going to keep working on the pantry. We want to put some more food into it. So we'll be going into the survival section in a second. And we can carry on with that. So I'll put that one out there. And then toilet roll. And I'm going to have... I wanted to have a shelf to put toilet rolls on. But it doesn't seem to work on here. The, the, for some reason, it's not going to let me put them on that shelf there. But I am wondering if I could put a shelf in there and do this. I was thinking about this. After I finished the episode, I thought, well, why, don't I, why didn't I just do that? So we go to cupboards here. And there's a particular bookcase. It's that one. The bookcase limb is quite narrow. And we could go for... There's the pine there. We don't want either of that to change. Um, cream... Uh, no, we don't want Venge, we don't want, we don't want Dark, uh, I don't want a Wood Cherry, I don't think that looks good. No, no. I think Pine, I think Pine will fit in there better. And we put that one like that, and then swivel it round. And I can put that one just like that, that's perfect. And then I can take this one, and I can put Toilet Rolls on the shelf. See, look at that guy there, he's a miserable so-and-so, isn't he? You know, I'm not going to live here got furniture so i'm not gonna what's wrong with you seriously dude what is the matter with you you, you gotta you gotta have so well oh, that's a food container that's just a food container there that um that one and then what do we got it was peanut butter i was right and we got rice uh they're probably gonna want the odd gun in here as well people will want guns you know they're gonna want guns right so we got toilet paper now the thing is i can't just press i can't press shift and click to buy multiples i don't think there is a way i think i've literally got to go through and do it like this so we'll um we go through and i'll buy a few rolls i i'm, I'm hoping that the toilet rolls are going to prove popular put that in there and another one see look at all these toilet rolls i can fit in here this this shelf was a good idea um i think they're a little bit too far back like they're, yeah, they're, they're popping out through the back of the shelf. That's fine. We'll, we'll be all right. We'll cope with this. Put that one in there. And we get another one, which will go in there like that. And then I can go back along the front and I can I can just do this. Bye now. There. And another one. And then I'll get another one and I'll put it in there. I mean, really, I'd like to fill everything up there, but I'm not going to um, sit through and um, bother with all that. So we want to go to... Let's go to other a minute and see what else we could put in here. I could put some medium boxes in here. How big are those? They actually fit quite nicely. We could put one there and I'll get another one. And I'll put right next to it like that. And then I'm going to get a different color. We're going to go for a medium black box there. And I put that one in there, and then I get another medium. Is that going to fit? That is. It's going to fit beautifully in there. So I got those, and then I want a big green box there. And that one, I'm actually going to rotate that one round so that one fits there like that. And I'm going to get one more of them. I'm going to put that on the shelf right next to it there. Okay, so we've got several boxes in there. I don't think they're actually very pleased with it. They don't seem to have made much difference. So let's see if we can put any survival containers. We've got a box there. That might help them. Did they? Oh, that's a that's a big old box. That is. Can I put? I uh, can't put the boxes on the shelves anywhere. Okay. Um. Right. We don't want that box. What about the package? Have we got the package? Nope. Go back. And we've got the bunk beds there. We're going to want the bunk beds. We are going to want to be using those. Guns and hats. All right. Well, I suppose a gun that, that someone's going to want a gun. Um, I don't like the. I, I'm not a big fan of the idea of having handguns anywhere, but um, we, we'll put those in there. Right. Oh, a gun. I don't even know how to use it. And the guy at the bottom, Mr. Misery Guts, he's quite happy with it. So we're only having one gun. That's all we're going to do. We're not putting any more guns in here. Because uh, really, I'm aiming to sell to that lady who's just now... They've swapped position, basically. Um, I think I really need... I do need to make the place look a bit nicer. And I'm wondering if I was to, if I was to like put a normal bed in here rather than bunk beds, is she going to be happier about that? Let's try... A, let's just go with one of these a minute. It, it doesn't matter what I get. There, a normal, a normal bed like that. One bed, okay. She liked that. The other guy there, he didn't. And where is the second one? Okay, so 
What is wrong with that guy at the bottom? Every time you put a piece of furniture in, he gets all sulky and says, I'm not buying that. I don't want that one. Um, he's, uh, he's not going to be much fun to live with, I don't think. If, if, if an, an event happens, I don't think he's the sort of person that you want to live with. Right, so we will we'll go back and we'll do the beds in a bit. Um, I need to go back into survival here. And so that's a food container. We've got a large food container there. Can I fit a large... Oh, we can put large food containers in on this shelf here. So we can do this. I could actually put a couple of these in here. Emergency food. That's what I call a real food supply. There. And I get another one of those. I'm going to um, try and fill this shelf here up with emergency food containers. And if I can, I'll put some more on the top shelf. Because uh, we got what we don't need like more... Still more bottles of water. We got we got loads of bottles of water. We we got loads of them. We don't need any more of them. Uh, bring that over a little bit, and then I can go to that one there. And we got one more. We can put in here. Perfect. Look at this. Right now, if I can climb, can I climb up? Um, there. Right. If I can just wedge myself on here a minute, I'm going for this food container here, and I'm going to drop a few of those in on there. So I pick that one up and. I'll move that one. There we go. I'll put that one over there. And then I'll buy now and put that one there. I want three more of these if I can fit them on. I don't think I can fit them on the shelf. They're kind of like toppling off the edge of the shelf. So it's, we're not going to buy three at all. We're going to be buying the... Ooh, can I fit one on here? Maybe I can fit one on this end. No. Okay, that's not going to happen down there. This side over here, I'm going for box there. And that's going to go down that end there. I want to just rotate that round a little bit so it goes like that. And I'm going to put that down as far down that end as I can. It's going to be right there. And then I'm going to get another one, which is going to be this package here. And that one is going to go there, like that. Okay. Next up, food in here. We want peanut butter. Let's go. Oh, gas cylinder. We're probably going to want a gas cylinder. I'm still debating whether or not to get rid of the gun and not have a gun in there at all. Uh, the macaroni, we'll do that in a second. So peanut butter has got to be the first one. We're going to put some more jars of peanut butter in here. Uh, so let's, let's get a few of these. Is this, is this making any difference to them? Are they, are they going to appreciate the peanut butter? I don't think they are. To be honest, there's only so much peanut butter you're going to want. You're not going to want loads of it. It might be high in energy, but... Um, you, you, you've got to live as well, haven't you? And it, it, it doesn't seem like it's living. And then we've got some cans of tuna in here. So let's get a few more of those. A bit of protein there. And we can put some more out this side. Oh, that's much better. Uh, there's not much, barely enough for a week. Yeah, but I'm putting more out. And putting more out each time seems to make them happy. So as long as I just keep putting tins out... They seem to like it. Or she does, anyway. And she was, like, my target. She's been, up until now, my main target for selling the property to. Um, but now it suddenly changed. When I put the gun out, she she didn't like that at all, did she? Uh, where can I put this? If I move over this way a bit. I don't think I can put another one up there. Oh, there we go. Right, there's one more there. So now I can move this one. Go and put this one back on this shelf over here. Organic food. That is what in it is in this one. It just says organic food. I've, I've no idea what organic food it is, but it's organic food. So we'll get a few tins of this. And people are getting happier the more food I'm putting down. I just filled up that shelf there with a load of tinned tomatoes. And they seem, they seem to quite like that idea. So I'll drop that one in there. And I'll finish filling this one here up with canned food. I'm not squishing them in as tight as I possibly can. I could probably do a little bit better than this. I say probably. By probably, I mean I could definitely do a bit better than this. But, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're filling the shelves up. That's that's all that matters. As long as we fill the shelves up reasonably, uh, they, they, should, they should be fairly pleased. So next up, I want the chickpeas, which is... There's meatballs. There's the chickpeas. So we're going to put in a load of chickpeas. We've already got... Oh, no, it's nuts in the jar. So I thought it was chickpeas in those jars as well, but it's not. It's nuts. And we put those in there, like that, and then there's some more. See, every time I get some more cans of food, the lady in the middle is getting happier. She really didn't like that gun at all, did she? She, 
that really knocked her confidence in buying this place. Um, the the bloke there, he's well, both the blokes, they seem to like it. Um, but she really didn't like the gun. And then, but the food, she really does like. And the other two don't seem to care about the food. It was the big things of food that they liked. So put that one in there as well. And then we want to get some more meatballs going. Where are they? Must be, there we go. Canned meat, right. And I'll put that one back there. And then we can start working through. So I've got bags of rice on the bottom shelf. I'll get some bags of macaroni in there in a minute. Just to like fill out that little space. I think I can only fit two more bags of macaroni. Which, I mean, it's some. There, There is some macaroni in there. So we'll put those in there like that. And then we can come over to here. And then where is the bags of macaroni? That's the next thing. I've got bags of rice. Oh, there it is. Macaroni right there. Um, This one I want to rotate round like that. So whether I can put anything, I don't think I can put them on that side. I can't go right up to the back. I can bring that one forward and I can drop that one down there. And I can get another one which I can put in there. And then I can get that one and that one can go on that side as well. Um, they seem to like the bags of dried food. They all do. Or at least the, the top two seem to like them. I'm going to put that out there. And we'll see if we can get some more bags of dried food in here. Problem is, you've got to crouch down to put them... Or you do at the back, anyway. Press C to crouch, by the way. If you're not sure, you just press C to crouch. Um, another one of them. Which I'll put in there like that. And then we'll go for another lot of macaroni along the front. There. And another one. There. Yeah, see, the, the bloke is a lot happier with the dried food than he is with the tinned food. And he also was the one that liked the big canisters on the top, wasn't he? Take that rice there. And then this one I want to um, crouch down. I can put that one back there. And I can try and get another six of these put into this bit. If I can fit them. Yeah, I can't squeeze that one right up. Might be able to get this one in there. Let's crouch down again. Still not enough. They really, they, they really do think that they're going to be needing an awful lot of food here, don't they? I mean, I suppose really they might be. I'm not. I'm, I'm genuinely not sure at the moment. They're still happy every time. Uh, now I can cook dinner and not eat only canned food. They, they, they do seem to be a lot happier with uh, me putting this stuff in. It doesn't seem to matter how much. I'm wondering if I should just like pile a load up on the floor here somewhere. I could just. I, I don't know. I've loaded that up. That that is pretty loaded there. We've got more. I, I do have more room in there. What have I got? I got peanut butter, an air gun. What happens if I put an air gun in? If, if I put one of these in, and if I'm going to put this one in, it's, it's definitely going on a shelf over here somewhere. Uh, well, I, I thought it was. Close that door a minute. Um, go down there. Where am I supposed to put this gun? Oh, there. It had a it had a thing that I could do with the gun. It it definitely had it there, there, there was there gun. Look, I put that in there. Right, let's just see their reactions. No, oh, she's gone back up. So that was an air gun. The guy at the bottom seemed to like the idea of the air gun. Um. Oh, and now the 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 guy's he's moved back up to the top again. Okay. So we're sort of hovering between the woman and the um, the guy with the army cap on. We seem to sort of be hovering between the two. I reckon we want to put something down in there. It's definitely got to be like a watertight thing to fit in there properly. Um, not... I'm sort of think. Oh, gas masks. We don't have any of those. An M16. Well, I'm not giving you an M16 rifle. That's not happening. We'll take another first aid kit. And we drop one of those in there. Actually, I'm going to put this one out here. This one's going on the shelf up here. And um, sure, I can put that one under there. There we go. Second first aid kit for you. And then we will also we'll go for a knife because well, knives are useful. Knives are very very handy in any kind of survival situation. So let me close that door a second, and I will rotate that one round there, and I'll put that one on there. Any change? Don't seem to appreciate the knife. I'll get you... I'm going to put an extra knife there. I'm going to put four knives down here, just because I think that knives are quite handy. And so you don't want to run out of knives. Um, there. That one can go. We got a... We got a small gun. I, I really don't like the idea of having the gun. I'm not a... I'm, as you can tell, I'm not a fan of guns. Um, 
Right, I don't, I don't want to try selling like that because what's going to happen is I'm going to accidentally sell the shelves. So I will pick that one up and I will drop it down there. And then I will go back to here and I will... Really? That gun's $100? Right, we're selling the gun. I don't want the gun. I've got in here... See, we've got an M16 rifle. We've got an air gun there. That one was 100 And then you've got that pistol there as well. Uh, there, 134. So, yeah, I'm not going to get that one. But I will go here and I'll get some gas masks. And it's, it actually seems quite appropriate to put the gas mask in the bathroom. We, we might be glad of this in here. So I'm going to put the gas... I don't think that I can get it. It doesn't go on these shelves. These, what is the point of these shelves on the wall? I can't put anything on them. I feel hard done by by this. I really do. Okay, let's go in through here and try and put the... Can I put a gas mask on the shelf in here? I I can't put the gas mask anywhere. Where am I supposed to put the gas mask? It won't go up on the wall. It won't go on there. Oh. Well, that fit. When the air will be polluted, I will still be alive. Yeah, well, I figured that you'd like that. Uh, she did as well, actually. Surprised me. I don't want to build a wall. I want to go back into here. I'm going to buy a second one of these. I see. Right, you've got to hang it off the edge of the shelf. Like that. There. There is two gas masks. That should keep some people happy. And then I also want some gas. There, I've got a gas cylinder right there. I'm going to put one gas cylinder there. And I'm going to put another one. Put that one out in front. And we'll go for another one. I'm going to stash four gas cylinders down here. So I figure they'd be useful. There. So we've got four of them down there. And then we also want some tools. We've got... We do have some tools upstairs, which would be handy. We've got boots out here. We've got... A, you know, a hat would probably be useful at some point. So we can put that on the shelf of supplies here. I'll put a couple of hats in there. I figure that the bloke in the middle is probably going to like the hats. Um, considering he's wearing one. And then we can scroll down through. We've got a shovel right there. Right, where can I put the shovel? I can I can lean a shovel in there. And has anybody said anything about the shovel? No one has said anything about the shovel. I'm going to leave one there. And then I'm also going to come through this way. And I'm going to put a shovel in this entrance way in here. And there. We'll take that one. I'm going to put that one down there. And I'm going to get another shovel. And I'm going to put one there as well. So you've got a couple of shovels leaning up against the wall there. It should be useful. And we've got... I don't need switches. Is that the only tools that you got? It's just a shovel. You could probably do it more than that. We don't want a spoon just yet. Uh, I'm sort of thinking that's most of what we want here. We're going to need beds. Bunk beds. Could we put bunk beds in here? It's kind of a bit of a squeeze to put the bunk beds in there. I'm going to have bunk beds. Definitely want bunk beds in here. I think we're going to put these here in the main living area. They're going to go there like that. Right. One, no, that's two beds, love. That's two beds. Look, at the bloke at the bottom is annoyed because I put a bed in. Are you seriously going to sleep on a cold concrete floor? What is wrong with this fella? Seriously, what is wrong with that bloke? Um, and then we're going to go beds in here, and I'm going to put a crib in here, just in case. You never know, somebody may have a baby. And so I'm going to put... Actually, I don't know where to put that one. I'm going to put the crib out here, because we may not need it at the moment, but it would be useful at some point. So I'm going to put that one right there against the wall, like that. Anybody saying anything about that? Oh, there we go. Two beds will be just right. She's happy as well. Uh, the other bloke didn't say anything. I'm going to go for another bed. And this one I'm going to try and find. Oh, uh, no. Bed with desk. No. Single bed. Bed solid. I'm going to go with that one. There. And there's a pine bed. We'll, we'll just take this one here. And this one, I'm going to stick this one down here. So we've got an extra bed for another person here should they need it. That's, gotta go, that, that's taking up a lot of space. I don't really want to do that. I don't want to take up that much space. Right, what about this one? What about you there? Steel frame bed. That might be better. That is better. That doesn't take up quite as much space. Uh, and we can go there. There, right, I've got three beds. And uh, now there isn't... 
Four beds is too much. I need a place with four beds. It was one bed just now. All right, we'll get rid of that one and we'll leave the cot. We'll get rid of that one there. There, two beds will be just right. I wish you'd make your mind up. Are you counting this as one bed or two beds? I <laughs> have no idea. Um, painting. We need to We need to do a bit of painting. We need to paint this place up a bit. And we need it to uh, look a little bit nicer. Um, we're going to paint. We've done blue outside. And I'm thinking that we could do some more Azure Bliss out this side. And uh, I'll go like that. Take that one. And I'll come out here. Right. So this is Azure Bliss in here. I'm going to go around like this. And I'm going to do this all the way around in this entrance hall as well. So we'll do this as blue. And then I'm actually going to do a green in here. I think green would fit quite nicely. We're not going to do a carpeted floor. I think a carpeted floor is just going to upset them. Um, mainly because there's a grill in the middle of the floor. And it's, um, it's going to be like they'll, they'll probably complain about a drainage issue or something. So we will leave that bit, and then we'll sort of see. Um, I don't know what tiles we'll do on the floor. I'm not leaving it this horrible grey. This this horrible grey is just really depressing. And if you're stuck down here for any length of time, you're not going to want to be stuck here with grey. I don't think this actually makes any difference whatsoever to the price of the place. I think it doesn't affect it in the slightest. I think we've got a lot of people here who just don't really care about their surroundings. And I think they should care. I think they should take a little bit more pride in their surroundings. Um, because otherwise, they're just going to end up being miserable. What's the point of living if you can't feel alive? Just put that one over there like that. Right. Now, uh, yeah, that I'm not going to do that room as blue. So we'll get rid of this paint now. There we go. That one can go. And then I want to go for a green. Heavy green is too much. Pistachio green might be a bit too... I'll tell you what. I'm going to go pistachio green. And we'll see what this is like for out in the entrance way out here. Um... So we go straight from the blue there to this green here. Look at that. Ah, so that is a sharp contrast, that is. A very sharp contrast. I need to be able to paint up the top there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just. Only just. Can I paint? Oh, I can. I can paint right through. That's good. It used to be that you couldn't reach through furniture in a lot of places on this game. But they've, um, they've obviously improved that little um, glitch that was... It was a bit of a nuisance because you'd so you'd try to like paint through a, a spot and you wouldn't be able to reach the wall and you could clearly see the wall in front of you and you're just not able to paint it. And I really didn't like that, but they have obviously fixed that now. So we no longer need to worry and fret about it. You can bring that out through there and then I can do that all the way around there. Oop, refill. And I think we might do this green up well. I don't know. A lot of people don't like green. Green is, is a very debatable colour as to whether people like it or not. Some people really do, some people really don't. Me, personally, I like it, and I'm sort of thinking green is more reminiscent of things outdoors, so you, you kind of, you, like, maybe that would make you a little bit happier. I don't really know. Um, These are just little theories about colour that I have from time to time. But no, I don't think we will. I think we'll go for a yellowish colour in here. I think that would be a brighter colour to have and keep people happier. So we'll do with that. Um, might go with the same. What did I do down in that? the sunny yellow, velvety peach, bright peach, morning, a faded lemon. I think I went in the bathroom. So we'll do a faded lemon in here as well. And that is the bunker painted. Yeah, that's. I think that's not a bad colour for your main living area. It's not like overpoweringly bright at the same time. It's kind of cheerful enough that when you're stuck on the ground for a few months, it's not going to, like, drive you insane either. You don't really want black walls if you're stuck under the ground for a long, long time. And I'm using up all this paint, but it does actually remember each section. Look at that, see? It remembers how much paint you put on to each section as you go through. So you can just go around. You can go, like, a little bit too fast like that, and then you can go back over it, and it will do it properly. Bring that into there. So we can go under the archway here. And we can do these bits as well. Like that. And that one there on the end. Let's close that door a minute. I've painted most of the walls now. I've done almost all the way round. Because I went round and I sort of did half a paint on just about everything. And it's now making this job very much faster when we go along the wall. We go along this way here and I start there. See? So much quicker if you go and do that first. Makes it, it 
<laughs> it really does make it feel like you've um, really advanced your painting skills by quite a considerable amount. Bring that through there like that, and there we go. Right, we've just got this little bit in here. I'll do this as the yellow rather than the blue on the other side. And do that one and that one. You and you. Right, that is this room painted, and that one is green. That one out there is blue. And then we come through here. We've got that one in the bathroom is the same. And then we've got blue in there as well. So next up, we need to do the floors. What are we going to do with the floors in here? Uh, on floor panels and coverings, we could do a carpet. I'm actually wondering, if I was to do a carpet in here, what are they going to say? Let's keep a close eye on them now. i start there, and i go all the way along to here. And I'll do out, let me just do out a section there. Have they made any changes with carpet? Nobody has said anything, they haven't batted an eyelid. I don't think they care about decoration. I would like there to be carpet in here. It's, it's a, like a, we got a um, durable, very hard wearing carpet that I'm putting down on the floor here. And I'm, I know that we've got a drain in here, but I don't regret this decision to put carpet in here. I think it does actually fit. Um, the drain, you can still use the drain, still pour stuff away down it if you need to. Uh, but I don't think that having a bit of carpet in here is out of play. I think that actually fits quite well. So then we want to go and we want to tile the rest of it. So we're looking at floor tiles here. Now we've gone for that pattern there for a couple of the rooms. Um, and I think we might just do that for the rest of it. So if I come out here into this room and we go over like that there. So we've got that tile in there. The bathroom is already done. I'll bring that one there like that. Paint the tiles in there. I think I got... Have I got blue tiles in? Yeah, I got blue tiles on the floor in there. Ideal. Right. Go like that. Yeah, so we got blue tiles on the floor in here. White tiles in there. If I should go for the blue tiles in there. I don't think I will. I think I'll just keep that at the entranceway. So next up, I want to have a TV on the wall. They definitely said they wanted TVs. So I want to go to Home Electronics. And I want a TV hanging on the wall right there. It's 465 for this TV. Let's try putting it the right way up. So we're going to be putting a chair down here, I think. Put that one on the wall. Is anybody? Yep, we got one person happy with it. At least another person happy with it. Okay, so they like that we've got that in there. Microwave oven. Ooh, kitchen. Um, go through to, yeah, let's go to kitchen section a minute. And I'll go to kitchen set there with hex. And I'll go that front, dark gray, light wood, like that. Now, this one here, if I rotate that one around there. Is that going to fit? That's not really that's not really suitable for anywhere in here, is it? Unless I put it like that in where those beds are and we move the beds. Where would we, I suppose we could put the beds across there? Uh no, I could put the beds along that wall there actually. Let me put that in a minute and see what they do. Is anybody happy with this? You know, I'm not going to live here. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's just miserable. Right, we, we've we've accepted that he's miserable and we've moved on. Uh, he doesn't seem to have moved on just yet. Let's get that next one there. Bring that one in as well. So I've got two empty water bottles out there. And then that bed, I'm going to move that one. If I rotate that round, that's a little bit tight to that door. I'm going to move that back out a little bit. So then I can take this one. And I'm hoping that'll fit back in that corner very nicely. That one there. Right, that goes right up into the corner. I think that fits, actually. I quite like that we've got that kitchen cabinet uh, unit in there. Although I'm thinking that it's not the best one to have there. I don't think it actually fits. We've, we can leave the bed there. And then we can use this area here. We can Hopefully we can use it wisely. So we want to come down here a little bit further, and I want to go kitchen cabinet with sink right there. Uh, corner cabinet. Yeah, I want that one there. White and grey. We'll, we'll, we'll keep this uh, more of a functional appearance. I'll put that one in there, and then I'm going to go for a corner cabinet here. Bye now. 
and I'm going to rotate that one around like that and that's going to go right back into that corner as tight as it can and then we can move this one up to there like that and then I can get some more cupboards here we go for a cupboard with a drawer and I'll put that one there and get one more of those so I'm going to put it right next to it like that and I'm going to get another one on the other side and that one is going to go there like that I'm not going to put another one I also want to put some chairs and I don't really I don't know if I should go for like a sofa sofa seems like it might be a bit much it's taking up too much room but at the same time if you're stuck down here for a long time you'd probably be glad of a sofa I know I'd be I, I'd want a sofa in here I wouldn't really care what it looked like I'd want a small compact sofa that I think that one there is actually the smallest one that you can get so we go yellow uh, dark no beige it's very functional roses no uh, no I think we'll go for functional like that let's put that one back there put that one in so you got somewhere to sit there that's comfortable that sofa it occupies so much place something comfortable to sit on a comfortable a sofa is at least a substitute of comfort so they like it he does it we got that one guy there he see he does seem a bit miserable doesn't he he does seem a little bit miserable um so then i want a table definitely want a table in here we don't want a big table it's classic dining there i want a table slim How about that black white no Let's go with wood like that. Now, how big is this? That's a small functional table that we could fit in here that isn't taking up loads of space. I'm just going to put it down this end. I'm going to put that one there like that. So we've got a table. Yes, he likes a table, the guy at the top. And then a woman likes a table as well. And they all like the table. Oh, I'm quite surprised. I didn't think they would all like the table. I thought that it would um, be misery guts there wouldn't like the table. Uh, classic chair or chair spring. I'm going for chair spring. I really, I, I like the green on them. Um, it's, it's not the, it's not the, the best green, but I still like it. So there, we've got a functional chair. Are they going to say anything about the chair? Come on. There's nobody has said anything about the chair yet. Let's get another one. Maybe they'll, um, change their minds when I got two. Put that one in there. Yeah, I got another chair. And I'm going to get another chair as well. I put that one in there like that. Right, so I've got a couple, I've got three chairs in there. And I'm also going to go back to Home Electronics and I'm going to see what they say about a computer. Is any of them going to like the idea of me having a computer? Because it's, you know, you, you put the, set the computer up here on the table. It allows you to communicate with the outside world, potentially. They haven't said anything. I thought they'd have liked, I thought that was like a stroke of genius. You'll be able to communicate with people with this, this computer. This is what you need. But no, nothing. Not a single word I feel hard done by. I do. I feel cheated. Right, so there's the computer. We've installed the, We've put the computer in here anyway. They, they do seem a bit miserable about it. Um, storage. What am I going to do for more storage space? Uh, if I go to cupboards, I guess I could get a shoe cabinet here. And what did I do with the last one? I think I... Did I do it? I don't think I did it mahogany. Older fits quite nicely. Uh, I'll put that one in there. Rotate that round a little bit. It doesn't fit there, does it? Oh, yes, it does. Just need to bring it forward a bit. Put that one in there. And nobody's changed just yet. Bedside table, cabinet, um, sideboard, a bookcase. Could go for some sort of bookcase. Um, a cabinet there. I don't want venge. That seems a bit much. Beach or pine. Pine's a little bit darker, isn't it? Let's let's stick with pine there. We'll take this one. And are they going to like me having one of these? If I put that one there. You can move it out. Ah, there we go. We want to put that one right there like that. Are you happy with that? Any of you? Nothing. Right, it's very cramped in here, but we have a survival shelter with items in here. And I'm going to go out here and I'm going to put... Actually, I'm going to just put some more racking out here. I think that's probably the most sensible thing that we can go for now. It's not under survival, is it? It's, um... Is it shelving? Cupboards. 
I think it's that. It is under cupboards there. So steel shelf garage. I want to put that one there. And um, put it up against the wall there. I want to put that one there like that. And I'm going to get another one. And I'm going to put it in there. Right. So I got two of those down that side. I could put some more stuff in. I can't really be bothered to go and keep stacking shelves. I'm fed up with that now. So we've done everything down here. This is all looking absolutely wonderful. And then we climb up the stairs. And we got this up here. And we go out into here. And this place... It just kind of looks a bit run down. And I, I moved a load of stuff here, didn't I? Um, I could move that around. I don't think it's going to make any difference. If we change the appearance of it up here, I genuinely don't think it's going to make any difference to anybody whatsoever. I've not noticed anything changing with anything we did at the top. I will just pick that one up a minute. And I'll go out here. There's one more thing I want to do before we go, if I can. And I want to take some paint on here, and I want to see if paint makes any difference to them whatsoever. If I paint the outside, just go white around the outside so we don't have this horrible grey. Um, whether it's going to make any difference to anybody. I don't think it does. I could even just paint the front wall of this and be done with. And not worry about any more of it. I don't need to paint the inside. They're not going to care about that. It's because it's all un underground. They're not expecting to be up here. They're expecting to be under the ground. Um, stuck in their little fallout shelter, not doing anything or communicating with the outside world in any way. I feel it's a bit antisocial, really. And quite frankly, I think you need to take a long, hard look at yourselves. Let's go over to this side. And there is two, three, four, five, six. And come in and do that one. And I'll get that one over there. I'm just going to do the front of this. Actually, I'm going to do two sides. I'm going to leave the back unpainted. Because I can't really be bothered, to be honest. Um, it doesn't seem... It's not making any difference. I'm doing this. I've not noticed any change on what they're offering or painting or any, you know, or saying or anything. So I think we'll just use up the paint that we got in this tin. And we're not going to do anything else. So I go through there like that. And... We've got a bit of paint left over here. I don't think I even need to clean that. I'm not, I'm not going to bother cleaning the window. I'm not going to do any of it. Because I don't think it makes any difference to them. I don't think they care. They absolutely do not care what the garage is like. Because the garage is just a front to them. It's literally just something to be there. To make no difference. It's, it's not going to change what happens in the slightest. Let's paint that big bit up there. And get all... Oh, we've run out of paint again. And there. Right. That's, that's all of the paint that I've got. Finish that one. And I can't even finish that one. Okay, we're done. We are done. Sell. And back to moving objects. Right. So let's not worry about the garage. They don't care about that. Uh, it doesn't seal very well, does it? <laughs> okay. That's that's not not the, the best thing to have on there. Let's, let's just close that one up. And we'll have a look in here. So this is our Fallout Shelter. We've done it. We've actually fully stocked... Well, look at that larder that we've got in there. I'm going to open that one that way. So then you can see it a bit better. Look at that. Look at all the stuff we have got in here. This is absolutely brilliant. I'm quite pleased with our efforts here. So we're going to go outside again. We've got a little kitchen in here for them. We've got the bathroom in there. It's absolutely awesome. The only thing I did was I changed around having a gun in there. I didn't really want a gun. Um, oh, I see. If you have that one shut, it just changed it slightly. Uh, we'll come back over here out of the way. So there's, there's the actual garage. And we are going to sell. This is going to be the last thing that we're going to do in this property is we're going to start the auction. Right, so we've got three. Fortunately, there is no T. There is a TV. I put a TV on the wall. Why are there guns here? I don't know how to use them. It's good. There is a first aid kit. There isn't any canned food. Would you please explain to me how there is no canned food? I just bought like a hundred tins of the stuff. Seriously, what is wrong with these people? Still, we paid 85000 for it, and we've sold it for 162000 at 73 I'm going to negotiate an offer with this guy. Ted Aron, I think you really need to up your price a little bit. We will go up by ten grand. Uh, actually, I want to go... What did I pay? I paid eighty-five, And so uh, getting seventy-three, I want twelve. Twelve, yeah. If I get... A, I'm going to ask for about twelve grand. Your offer is too low. I can sell you the house for 12000 more. I hope we'll be safe here. Okay, I'm guessing that's it, except, yeah, we go, we've doubled our price. We've doubled what we paid for the house, we've sold some furniture. I mean, yeah, I haven't included the renovation costs, or the furniture costs, it's fine. We, we'll, we'll cope with that. There, 
Perfect. We've made a fortune. So we have sold our bunker. We are now a survivor. Achievement unlocked. The, the survivalist. We have sold our first survival bunker and we doubled what we paid for it once again. We seem to be doing all right with this doubling of our money. 266,000 pounds to go towards our next property. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And next time, I will... I have no idea which I'm going to buy next time. I could buy any of them. I... The sky's the limit now. We have a quarter of a million pounds in the bank. So I really have no idea what I'm going to buy for our next property to fit up. It will be one of them. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.